problem with uh, Space Invaders um, is that it's a uh, it, it's a story that is somewhat compelling as a story, but it doesn't prove anything. I'm Dan Subotnik. I'm a professor of law at Turo Law School uh, on Long Island in New York. I've been there for almost 30 years. I think it's worth something. Um, an interesting article. Uh, I've uh, challenged, and I'm not the only one, uh, kind of the use of the narrative form uh, in legal education. I I'm, I'm glad he did it. Uh, unfortunately, it's caught on, and a lot of people think, or have thought, I'm not sure it's the case anymore, uh, that that was a substitute. Uh, if you're not careful, you can wrap, get wrapped up in it, and you come to believe that that's a substitute for analysis. Uh, and it, it, and it just isn't. It's an addition to analysis, but you know, law students and law faculty uh, should have higher standards uh, and uh, not rely on uh, on that alone. You you can't test it. Um, at all. I mean, how do you test, you know, what would happen if aliens invaded and uh, Americans were asked to send um, all the African Americans uh, up the river, so to speak? I, you, you can't do it. And I think some people got wrapped up in that and uh, think that it proved something, but but it doesn't. If you start, if you start with the premise that American society uh, is determined to keep the uh, population down, the African American population down, then it's going it, you know, it's 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 going to be attractive to you. Most Americans are desperate for uh, kind of the uh, underclasses in the black community uh, to make it, and so that we can get beyond concern uh, um, about race. And that's my position. Uh, then, uh, the, then the story is appalling uh, because it kind of prevents people from looking at what has to be done.